Lately, I've been doing some research into the differences between the English Standard Version, that I have right here in my hands, and God's Word, the King James Bible, and uh, found something rather shocking in my verse comparisons. A lot of times they'll say there are no doctrinal errors or doctrinal differences, you know, changes in the new versions and things. Not true. Found a big one. Uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 here in the King James Bible, very familiar passage, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Contrast between hell, verse 13, and heaven, verse 14. Okay? But you can see it right here. Very many people are familiar with this. Let's look at how the ESV, the English Standard Version, renders this passage. BibleGateway.com, right here it is. Enter by the gate, the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. So they're calling the narrow, both gates are narrow. The one that leads to, to hell is narrow, the one that leads to heaven is narrow, and it's easy to go to hell. Hmm. And those who enter it by enter by it are many. So they're many, but they're going through a narrow gate. That's kind of odd. Verse 14, for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. It's hard to get to heaven. Easy to go to hell, hard to get to heaven. In other words, is what's being said here. It's no longer the broad way that leadeth to destruction. No, it's now the narrow gate that leads to destruction, and many are going through it, you know, entering into it there, according to what they're saying. Let me show you the big problem with that. Matthew chapter 11 and uh, verse 30. Jesus Christ speaking here. Verse 25, at that time Jesus answered and said, and he goes down through here. But look what he says. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Going to heaven is easy. It's very easy. Unless you use ESV and then it's hard. Proverbs, go back to the book of Proverbs, here, chapter 13 and verse 15. What about lost people? Proverbs 13, verse 15 in the King James Bible. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. The way of transgressors is hard. The ESV takes it and flips it. It's hard to get to heaven, but to get to hell, it's easy. Let me show you one more time. Right there it is. The way is easy that leads to destruction. The gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. It's exactly the opposite of what the Bible actually teaches. The Bible teaches, the King James Bible teaches, that going to heaven, you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, put your faith in Him, His death, burial, and resurrection, and His finished work on the cross, and, you know, it's, it's an easy thing. And the Lord gives you a life that's that's easy to live. You don't have to worry about sin. And no matter how bad things get, you always have the assurance of salvation. You always have the assurance you're going to go to heaven when you die. It's a wonderful thing. It's an easy life compared to the struggles of living in sin and not having any idea where you're going to go when you die. Why would the ESV, a more modern, updated, more accurate, whatever else they try to say about the ESV, why would they change this vital truth of the scriptures? and say that going to heaven is hard and going to hell is easy when that clearly contradicts other scriptures other verses of scripture you don't know about the bible version issue i would suggest that you watch this video it's one of my documentaries i've made the real bible version issue exposed here on this channel kj video ministries right here here's the video and you can watch it it gets, it gets into uh, who's really behind the new versions? It's the Vatican. They are Vatican versions. Um, casting doubt into people's minds. Right? Don't use the ESV.